two of making the world's biggest opera house cake. And as you can see, it's just bedlam. Um, everything's coming alive now, which is exciting. I had a sleepless night last night. Three layers of foundation later. I'm not sure I look that good. I love Graham, holy and love. The buzz is just like electric. We've applied for the Guinness Book of Records, A, to make the largest opera house cake, but B, to make the largest building cake. It would be good, actually. It's exciting. Here we've got cake everywhere. We've got cakes here. We've got cakes under the tables. We've got cakes in the kitchen. We've got over 300 litres of ganache. Potentially it could be well in excess of 2,000. But uh, yeah, so we'll be doing the selling off the cake for flood relief for Queensland. So hopefully we'll make a lot of money. Do you love him? Do you want love? Or do you want fame? Do you want... We've got the, um, both teams here at the moment. So we've got the tenors and the sopranos. That's what the teams are called. And they're busy kneading icing. We've got to go through kilos and kilos of icing. And this is the real back-breaking work. This is what gives you RSI as a cake decorator. I'm on a mission. Okay, so people think that cake decorating is just about, you know, little blue-headed ladies in their kitchens and it's about frilly aprons. No, it's not. And this is the sisterhood. And we've got power tools, we've got styro caves, we've got saws, actually real hardware. I'm very proud of it. These are part of the sales that we're making. Remember the tips? So this gives you an idea of where we're going with it. It's just going to be absolutely massive. Yeah, it's been yes. really great. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been the best. So glad Carol decided to do it. <laughs> It's an amazing opportunity. I can't believe that she's opened up the whole Planet Cake to volunteers from around Australia. This is the chocolate mug cake that we're using and then we're layering that with ganache and this is going to go up 15 centimetres or 6 inches and then we've got a row of dowels and then the boards. And we're just sanding the end of the dowel so there's no wood splinters in the cake. This cake should be have uh, centre poles coming up from the base Margie would probably like to already see a layer of cake on there. So she's been delayed doing what she needed to do. And so yeah, we're behind. Already, day two. <laughs>